hi in this video we learn about jmeter initial so in jmeter we learn how uh, how it will work from where and who has developed that jmeter so jmeter is nothing but apache jmeter that's de uh, developed by uh, apache and it's a 100% pure java desktop applications designed to load the functional behavior of and measure the performance but now we are using for other test functionality as well if you we'll go through that all the uh, way my tutorial uh, like textual tutorial you will find that like what uh, what is that uh, performance testing type of performance testing their pre-request geometer future geometer installations geometer component like test plan and its element creating test plan thread group sampler controller listeners and times logical controller and graph and reports so uh, i'll go in like in brief why performance testing is required in software industry and type of performance testing the performance testing is a general is testing perform to determine how the system perform in terms of response responsiveness and stability under a particular user load we take concurrent users we'll discuss that what is the concurrent user in real time other attribute performance testing validate or verifies scalability reliability resource uses and more moreover main objective is nothing but find bottlenecks improve customer experience so type of fellow testing is there like load testing stress testing sp speak testing soak testing volume testing so you can go ahead with like a definitions i don't want to elaborate much about it for request we need a something like and this is nothing but a non-functional requirement that's a very important you have to understand the load testing volume testing soak testing and spec testing is part of a non-functional requirement so m might be you are aware about that or not there is a two type of a requirement will be there one is a functional requirement one is non-functional requirement so functional requirement you can i'm just going to elaborate in simple so functional requirement are those requirement where we have that actual thing and their visibility for example we need a user id and password and so on submit and reset button in gui this is nothing but a functional requirement i want to validate that a five fields um, a length of a user id is eight character which is nothing but a functional requirement where i testing and all scalability availability and all as non-functional requirement like a concurrent user so just go ahead with the non-functional and functions requirement more details from uh, you can find that in wiki and others so in jmeter features it's it's a free it's open source it is a hundred percent java applications it has a simple and gui gui it can do load on and performance test on several servers in babe we can test http http so database via jdbc ldap and jms mail we can do and there is a form of uh, a uh, few more so like uh, objective and definitions is there i will not explain in geometer life cycle we have like in a start it will create request to target whatever request will be there it will point to that from particular target target is nothing but i'll explain that in where we are going to hit that uh, like your website your application server and simulate the number of users so we i'll discuss that like in, in a later time on board then we have a server response after the, getting that request it will serve that response on response it will be saved that all the data in response form in jmeter uh, jmx file after that it gathers the data to calculate aesthetics in aesthetical information doing this once after it will go to that again that create request to target server simulations number of user and it will redirect to that week it will end of that process it will come to that end while doing that end we can generate the reports and all 
so I'm, I'm I'm going to see that a installations part and all because after that we have installations and how to do that further so I have already downloaded from like an Apache server or you can download from any other uh, um, the uh, uh, available downloaders for geometer I have downloaded that uh, latest geometer of a 2.11 and I have already placed in C directory created geometer folder where I have a Apache geometer to on and just navigate to bin directory you'll find that a geometer folder over here and before that I just want to know you have to install the Java as well which is already there in my tutorial how to install the te java and all so now in first screens we are able to see that wow it's a uh, apache jmeter 2.11 release 155 something like that we have a file edit a search run options and help menu and some toolbar is there so we'll discuss uh, uh, what is the test plan what uh, what is that like can in, in inside that a test plan like thread thread group and listener and we'll discuss that a sampler and all so what is the test plan test plan is nothing but test plan is that you can say that uh, define a series of uh, steps the, we, in, in single test plan we have a uh, multiple uh, steps how how and what to do in that particular test so we can say that this is the parent level element which ones i have that is sub element for doing that uh, sub process internally only one test uh, test plan can be added per script and can be saved for the further use so in one test plan we have only one script and we'll mention that i'm just putting the test plan as a google uh, t u t u r i a l by dot com t u t u r i a l e example dot com for a small load t test of I put that some landing landing name I'll remove it and just put that uh, tutorial by example and descriptions I put that uh, www tutorial by example dot com for a small load test of a google dot com so this is nothing but if you navigate from this window to anywhere anywhere by default it will automatically save but I want to save that permanently, so I'll go and just save it. So file name, uh, extension by default extensions will be JMX, and I'm not going to do anything. I'll later do as it. I'll click the save. So now my test plan is saved. Now I have a test plan now. Now I'll right click on test plan. I'll add the thread group. So thread group is nothing but represent a set of action added under test plan and can simulate multiple users so this is nothing but a thread group so if i click on thread group the name of a thread group i can ch change that i can put that instead of a t uh, tg so if i understand and after that i'll put that uh, testing or something like that after that action to be taken after a sampler error if error will become what we want to go do that i can we can choose that only one of the options either so i'm i'll let it be by default now the thread property how you want to run that a thread number of a thread threads user one i want to little bit in one second and loop count i'll put that a five if i'll click that somewhere else by default it will be data will be same nothing to do after that creating the thread group uh, we have will get that as uh, some sampler so sampler is nothing but inside one request what we are going to do that you want to do, do access log 
you want to do that SAP, bean bean ftp http java request and number of other requests as well so there just go ahead i'll just choose that http request while clicking the http request it will seems to be look like that i'll not change that name i'll we can uh, that's a good politics we have to change the name of that request what is exactly and the comment over here what we can put over here we have to put that uh, ip address or um, the name of your website i'll put that uh, google.com and because by default it will take that google.com whatever sport is there and connections response nothing to do let it be by default we, if you have any additional parameter you can add over here if you want to put direct body you can put over here we'll discuss in um, later later tutorial so now we got the test plan we got that thread groups we got that uh, http request so almost everything is done um, i'll just uh, uh we'll discuss on how to we run run it so while run we have a two two way to run that this uh test test plan one is from run to a start and second one is by default uh we can go ahead with a toolbar to run so i run it it takes few seconds but we cannot trace it out result yet because for result we have to add that uh, some we have to add that a uh, listener so inside that listener it will identify that what what kinds of things we are going to do so in thread group itself we have to add that a listener so listener is nothing but a report generations and we can take that that uh, data in that report form so i'll add that a three report first after that i'll add that one more report listeners which is nothing but view in tabular form i'll add that another reports as well which is representing the tech graph result i'll read add that one more reports which will uh, indicate that aggregate report or we if you have a summary report something like that mm, monitor results summary report okay so now everything is done we'll put that some file name over here and we'll open save it reason why whatever result we there we have to save the in the file otherwise you lose that uh, reports data so just click choose the file name you can choose that a different different file name as well just now go click on that test plan click on the before that just clean nothing is there in report verify it nothing is there so if you clean clean after the test plan run it while running we'll, we'll see that a total sampler request i send five average time it's like 117 minimum something like that something will call that response graph result you are saying that this is the dot dot because we have a five request only we got that all five result as a success in tree also we send that a request we got that a response so this is all about the emitter initials and if you have any questions doubt qualifications feel free to put that in my uh, tutorial in comment sections over here if you go all the way down there is comment section see that i'm more than happy to answer if i can on my ability and time and uh, please like uh, and share that um, this video have a good day ahead.